57 states spread across four continents of the world. Comprising 23% population of the world, 1.9 billion people, natural resources, enriched with 70% of global oil riches, Owing to lack of solidarity and unity, inhabitants of Muslim world are battling myriad challenges, whereas the sole situation to reclaim the scattered edifice of Muslim Ummah is hidden in resolute commitment and unwavering harmony. If we take a leaf from history, Islamic world was gripped by uncertainty after the demise of Ottoman Empire in 1924. Then to equip Muslim world with one platform, the World Islamic Congress was convened and Grand Mufti of Jerusalem was nominated, its first president. Poet of East, Allama Muhammad Iqbal was selected from Asia as the vice president. After Second World War, this assembly was targeted by Western powers because its presence was hampering Zionist state's ambitions. Since its inception on 14th August 1947, Pakistan has regarded Muslim world as its natural ally. Pakistan's affinity with Muslim world was rendered clear on the 23rd of March 1940 when Pakistan resolution was adopted passionately along with declaration of Palestinian self-determination. On 21st of August 1969, an extremist Christian, Dennis Michael Rohan, set fire on noble sanctuary of Al-Aqsa, burning 800-year-old wood and ivory pulpit gifted by Salahuddin Ayyubi. Muslim world expressed intense response upon this incident. The Grand Mufti of Jerusalem, Muhammad Amin al husseini requested Muslim states to convene a presidential conference and chart an action plan to prevent such incidents. In response to the appeal made by the Grand Mufti of Jerusalem, 24 Muslim state representatives gathered in Morocco's city of Rabat. On 25th September 1969, these states adopted a resolution which is considered as pioneer idea behind the formation of Organization of Islamic Conference. Regarding OIC, it was stated in this resolution that in accordance with the Islamic teachings, roadmap has been devised for collaboration and coordination in economic, scientific, cultural and other areas. The rationale behind the formation of OIC is consolidating political, economic and social interests of the Muslim world. Despite espousing different political ideologies, Muslim-majority states exhibited joint cooperation. Established in response to desecration of Masjid al-Aqsa, six months later in March 1970, the first Islamic conference of foreign ministers was held in Jeddah, Saudi Arabia, and its headquarters was established there. In 1972, 
the OIC was formally founded. The Foreign Ministerial Conference of Member States is held annually, while the largest meeting attended by the kings and the heads of the member states convenes every three years. According to its charter, the OIC aims to preserve Islamic social and economic values, promote solidarity among the member states, increase cooperation in social, economic, cultural, scientific and political areas, uphold international peace and security, and advance education, particularly in the field of science and technology. Six states are present in OIC as observer states, and its member states have also representation in the United Nations. Arabic, English and French are regarded as the official languages of the OIC. First extraordinary meeting of OIC in Islamabad in the year 2007. It is part of OIC's manifesto to foster and cultivate brotherhood and cohesion among the member countries. Pakistan, as chairman of the OIC's Peace Committee, made unprecedented efforts to end the Iraq-Iran war. Pakistan, being the castle of Islamic Ummah, has always played the role of bridge among the Muslim countries. From the platform of OIC, there have been 14 summits attended by the heads of states and 8 extraordinary meetings of which Pakistan hosted one summit of the heads of states and two extraordinary meetings. Previous OIC Heads of State Summit was held in Mecca, Saudi Arabia in 2019 and was attended by Prime Minister of Pakistan Imran Khan at the invitation of His Excellency King of Saudi Arabia. In his address, the Premier emphasized that all Muslim countries have to fulfill their responsibilities and endorse true representation of Islam.